As English learners, I'm sure you've encountered the words will and would. We see it in different areas of English, and it might be a little confusing as to when we use them and why we use them. So today, we're going to look at the differences between the two and see some examples. Welcome back to Kareem in My English, everyone, where I, Kareem, am here to help you improve your English skills. So, will and would. These are two modal verbs in English, but they're not exactly the same. There are small changes in the meaning and when we use them. So we're going to start with will. The first and most common use is that we use will to talk about any future event. As an example, tomorrow I will go on vacation. Will is also used to make predictions, promises, or convey willingness to do something. A prediction is what you believe or think will happen in the future. A promise is when you say you will do something for someone. And willingness is your, the next president will probably be someone we don't like. To express willingness, yeah, I'm good at math. I will help you with your math homework. And a promise. I will call you tomorrow after I finish work. So if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now, on to would. The main function of would is that it's used to talk about hypothetical situations. Hypothetical meaning imaginary, not real. And these situations could be in the future, present, or past. Additionally, would is used to be more polite with your requests when you ask for something. And finally, would can be used to express past habits, things we did in the past that we no longer do. So let's see a few examples. So a hypothetical could be, if I won the lottery, I would travel the world. So I haven't won the lottery, but if I did, I would travel the world to request something, would you please pass the salt? It's much more polite than saying, give me the salt. And for past habits, when I was young, my family would travel to the Rocky Mountains every summer. Do we still travel to the Rocky Mountains? No. So to summarize, will is used for future events, predictions, willingness, and promises. While would is used for hypothetical situations, past habits, and polite requests. Knowing which one to use really depends on the situation and the context, and of course, what you're trying to say. So I hope this video helped you understand a bit more the differences between will and would. And if you did learn something, please hit that like button. And if you want more English content, don't forget to subscribe. Additionally, you can follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Kareem in my English. I'll leave the links in the description. So everyone, thanks for watching. Keep working hard, and I'll see you in the next one.